Regarding the cutaneous innervation of the leg, there are at least five nerves that supply the skin of the leg. First of all, we have lateral cutaneous nerve of calf. Here you can see in these both diagrams, this is the anterior view, this is the posterior view. And here we have lateral cutaneous nerve of calf, which is also called lateral sural cutaneous nerve. So lateral sural cutaneous nerve arises from the common peroneal or common fibular nerve. It gives off a sural or peroneal anastomotic branch to the sural nerve. And it ends by supplying over the anterolateral and posterolateral aspects of the upper leg. Why upper leg? Because in the lower leg, it is replaced by other nerves. Second important nerve in the cutaneous innervation is the superficial peroneal nerve. It arises as a branch of, terminal branch of common peroneal nerve and its area of supply includes lower anterolateral part of the leg. Third very important nerve providing cutaneous innervation to the leg is saphenous nerve. Saphenous nerve <laughs> arises from the femoral nerve as a branch of femoral nerve. Its course in the leg is that it descends, it descends along the tibial side of the leg. Tibial side means medial side of the leg along with a very important structure called great saphenous vein. This point is very important from examination point of view because it is commonly asked in the MCQs that femoral, uh, that saphenous nerve in the leg accompanies which vein? So it accompanies great saphenous vein. It continues to run behind the great saphenous vein till it passes in front of the medial malleolus, where it ends by terminating into two branches in the lower third of the leg. The first branch ends at the level of the ankle whereas its second branch continues to run till it reaches the big toe and it communicates with the medial branch of the superficial peroneal nerve. Medial branch of the superficial peroneal nerve. Then over the posterior aspect of the leg in the center and upper part of the posterior aspect of leg, we have posterior cutaneous nerve of thigh. A branch of sacral plexus. Uh, we uh, get this nerve in the thigh region, posterior compartment of thigh, and we studied in that region about the course of the posterior cutaneous nerve that it continues to descend into the upper part of the posterior aspect of the leg in the center, to which it ends by supplying as well. Sural nerve is a very, very important nerve. It has great examination significance. It is not only commonly asked in the MCQs, but it is also asked in the SCQ. So sural nerve is often said to be a combination of at least three nerves which include the medial sural cutaneous nerve, which is a terminal branch of tibial nerve, and lateral sural cutaneous nerve, one of the terminal branches of the common tibular or common peroneal nerve. These two branches are connected with the help of sural communicating branch, and hence these three nerves form sural nerve. The Contribution from the tibial nerve in the form of medial sural cutaneous nerve continues to run beneath the gastrocnemius and runs laterally over the lateral head of the gastrocnemius, where it is joined by the lateral cutaneous nerve, sural nerve, from the <clears throat> common fibular as it reaches the or, uh, or as it runs downwards to reach the fibular head. 
then the sura nerve continues to run down in the leg on the postero lateral side here on the postero lateral side here in the purple on the postero lateral side of the leg then posterior to lateral malleolus running deep to the fibularis tendon sheath until it finally reaches the tuberosity lateral tuberosity of the fifth toe of the foot where it ends by dividing into its terminal branches its area of supply includes sensations to the skin of the postero lateral aspect of the leg till ankle as well as lateral side of the foot till fifth 